welcome to hey. you be the judge where the objective of this show is to put it out there and let you be the judge i know everybody hey. got their beliefs but don't hate on mine now check out this content Ooh. i'm just getting paid i do this every day with the brothers so if you don't mind just for a second i'm going to speak to y'all directly coming up with all kinds of reasons and excuses I've got a problem with that because, because part of it makes me think, and I'm speaking to men directly now, part of it makes me think that, well, you just aren't feeling the idea of having a woman as president. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to You Be the Judge. Iceberg Green, I'm back at it. So today, I'm going to break down this Obama thing. You know, I've been seeing it all over the news, and this brother's something else. They saying we don't want to vote for Kamala because she's a woman y'all tell tell if you got somebody near y'all trying to they trying to divide us y'all we a woman had us y'all that that that's like saying if my mama was running for president i wouldn't want her to run because she a woman knock it off y'all everybody know why black men and a lot of black women are not supporting her because she's full of shit there's no way around it Listen to her talk. Every time she talks, she say, I'm, I'm thinking of some more shit to say. Meaning she's full of shit. See, let me speak for myself. It's not because she's a woman that I'm not going to vote for her. Let me say it again. It is not because she's a woman that I am not going to vote for her. It is because she's gotten on national television and said what she's not going to do for black people. It's because back in the day, a lot of parents, a lot of people did a lot of time for a lot of crimes that were BS because she was signing off on a lot of this shit. I am not voting for her because she caters to every other group. She comes and dances and uses us as props, but we get nothing in exchange. I am not voting for her because she doesn't come to the inner city and there's no Kamala Harris fund nowhere in the inner city. I am not voting for, for and there's no policy in there for y'all, for us, anybody that's black. Nothing in there for you. So these are the reasons I'm not voting for her. I guess he assumed since uh, black people came out to vote for him because we thought, quote unquote, he was black. And, you know, excuse me, he was going to cater to the black community, which he didn't. We all know that. So his thing, he comes back out for Kamala, uh, the voice's opinion again. I'm surprised he didn't say Pookie and Ray Ray. He tried to be more professional with it this time. But I got some footage from CNN that I'm about to let y'all hear. With his sister going in. She going in and uh, letting everybody know how she feel about how black men are being treated. Check this out. Why are black men being belittled in ways that no other voting group? Now, a lot of love for former President uh, uh, Obama, but for him to single out black men is wrong. And some of the black men that I have talked to have their reasons why they want to vote a different way. And even if some of us may not like that, we have to respect it. So unless President Barack Obama is going to go out and lecture every other group of men from other identity groups, my message for Democrats is don't bring it here to black men who, by and large, don't vote much differently from black women. Exactly what she said. So I want everybody to listen to the sister. This is a black woman. She's standing up for black men. And we don't hear this a lot. We don't. We don't see black women standing up saying, hey, y'all, y'all keep doing these brothers wrong. Why don't y'all do this to other groups of men? And again, they're trying to divide black men and black women with this. Don't y'all think this creates a divide? When you wake up and you say, hey, I don't like what, as a man, and you with your wife, your woman, whatever, you say, hey, I don't like how Kamala doesn't cater to the black community. and She's not prioritizing black people. You say that to a woman, they're like, ah, oh, you're still supposed to vote for her because she, quote unquote, is black. And then they get into a colorism thing. And then I say, hey, what has Kamala done for you, sister? And they really can't say anything. They they can't point at any uh, they can't point at any policy, um, anything she's even lobbied for in their community to make it work. 
Now, as far as black men, they've never catered to us. Excuse me. They've never catered to, to a black man. Now, just think about this. Now, think about this, y'all. This whole time they've been going at it with this billion dollars and all this money she's been raising, catering to this group, that group. Man, she's been partying with the black folks. You know, she's been doing the kumbaya. And the end of all that, we see Barack Obama, somebody that hasn't been in office in almost 10 years. We see him come out. Remember last time the Pookie and Ray Ray, they sent him out. They've tried Luke. They've tried all these different artists and they see that shit didn't work. They see it. So they like, ah, we got to bring you out, Obama. You got to come out. He like, hey, I, I really don't want to do it. But uh, if, uh, I mean, if it's going to help uh, Trump lose, I'll do it. So I think that's what happened. He said, you know what I got to, but I can't call him Pookie and Ray Ray this time. We, we got to write something up. So. Fix that. Fix that in there. And what? As a politician, we should be trying to get all voters to vote. And hopefully there are a few good men out there who do care about the stripping away of some of women's bodily autonomy. But this is wrong for President Obama. It is a wrong course for the Harris Waltz campaign to lay at the feet of black men when they have their reasons. Now, this sister right here is spitting fire. You don't really see black women coming out like that and to speak on behalf of black men. We don't see this. Now, this is rare. I'm talking about on CNN. This is uh, this is rare, y'all. And we needed this. Because when we say it, we're, uh, we become feminists and we don't... You know, every time a man steps up and says, Hey, this is how I feel about this world, a black man. Think about it. A white man, an Asian man, a... Indian man, they can get up and voice their opinion and they are actually heard. When it comes to us, never. Never. They be like, y'all know where y'all need to be. Black, go talk to black women about whatever issue you got. And that ain't cool. It's not cool to me. So this sister right here is spitting fire. She let, and everybody looking at her like, she got points right here, y'all. Y'all better respect some. And she telling them, she looking at them all in their face. Y'all going to have to figure it out. Go to these other groups and do this. Go to other men uh, and do this shit. Stop doing it to black men. Like we the only one that can vote for her. There's Asian people that can vote for her. Hispanic people that can vote for her. White people that can vote. Every Asian, they can all vote for her men. But they always send a token black man, Mr. <sighs> Facade Obama. Barack Facade Obama. That's what he is to me. A facade. And y'all fell for it. I actually fell for it because I voted for his ass. Not again. And she doesn't have any different policies than Joe Biden, him, and everybody else in the Democratic Party that got us in this rut we in right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. The rut we're in right now is due to them. They've been in office 14 years and saying we need time to do something for y'all. But everybody else seems to uh, have a policy in there written specifically for them. Economically, um, financially, uh, they got, they, it's in there. As opposed to it being there for us, it's not. We don't have no particular policies for black people. They don't even want us to get reparations. They hating on the reparations. How can you hate on that? That's one thing I be wondering. It's like, if you know that all these promises were made within slavery, before slavery, after slavery, um, to help develop black men and keep them, you know, black people, excuse me, as a group, keep us collectively on the same level. After taking so much from us, it's only right. But that's, that's even too much. And then all these wars. <clears throat> Let me get on all these wars. Y'all know this is about trade. This is about what they always do. Go in there and take resources, find somewhere else they can put an embassy, you know, something where they can just suck up all the resources. That's what they do. Now, immigration. What a horrible catastrophe. We've gotten, I think they said, I want to say half a million, something like that, illegal immigrants. Some to whom we have, they have no record. They don't know what, what's going on with them. And forget all that. Let's just get past that. 
the fact that we have a country where we say, uh, what, what is the word, democracy, all these things, you are corrupting democracy by allowing these things. You are the main one talking and preaching democracy and every policy, everything you have in there is to the contrary. You ain't supporting no d- democracy. The Republicans ain't supporting no democracy. They supporting their pockets and their constituents. And it's very morally and ethically incorrect. It's horrible. So I'm going to just land my plane on that one. I don't support Kamala. And I don't care how y'all feel about it, black women. It's not because she's not, um, <clears throat> because she's a woman. Excuse me. It's not because she's a woman. I'm not supporting. Let me make this clear to my sisters. I'm not supporting Kamala, not because she's a woman, black woman, Indian woman, whatever woman. It's because she doesn't have a policy in there. She's never came out and said what she's going to do for black people. She's came out and said what she's not going to do for y'all. I don't see, I don't care about Trump. I'm not no Trump supporter. I don't care about him at all. But at least I know where he stand. At least I know what the fuck he's going to do. This woman, man, and all these words, that you can listen to her talk. Come on now, y'all. Don't be, don't, take the veil off your face, man. Take the veil off, man. He's for green. You be the judge. I'm out of here. Okay, so hey. I just put it out there, and you be the judge. Again, I'm not going to hate on your content, hey. so don't hate on mine. All right, y'all. Ooh. I'm just getting paid. I do this every day. Hey.